good to see you by the way and welcome to Bridge of Allen. The reason we're here today is it's the Stirling and District Classic Car Show. Airthray Castle, the Wallace Monument, Castle of Stirling and King Robert the Bruce were surrounded by castles, monuments and kings. We are coming to you today from the heart of Scotland's Stirling, Bridge of Allen, halfway between Edinburgh and Glasgow, just down the road from Perth and basically right in the centre of Scotland. Today's show is organised by Stirling and District Classic Car Club. The show is easily accessible by road and if you have wheelchair access it's all on the flat as well. So we look forward to a good day out for all. Today's show is really a walkabout taking an hour and 45 minutes originally but with the help of some technology I've condensed it down to 25 minutes. It's mainly uncut and this is how it was on the day. If you've got a favourite or something you'd like to see, you can let me know in the notes below underneath. And also remember to give us a big thumbs up. That helps other viewers see the Stirling and District Classic Car Club show from 2022. Right, I think we should get on with it. This is Classic Vehicle HQ for the next 25 minutes, so stay with us and hold on tight. There's uh, American kit cars, there's uh, vintage MGs and uh, plenty Morris Miners, including a Morris Miner police car. Watch out for the uh, Citroen van, there's a Camaro and a Falcon Plus 2. The uh, crew are there from the Tram Sport 6 Club, Scotland Central and West area, look out for them. And uh, one display I particularly liked was the Triumph Herald and the GT6 side by side with the bonnets open. That just said to me, any inspection, welcome. Thanks for joining us by the way. We're uh, here at Stirling and District Classic Car Club having a look round their 20 22 show from uh, May. Alright, so moving swiftly along, um, special hello to our viewers all from the UK and those not from the UK. We have quite a few. Be nice to hear from you. If you have any messages you want to drop, be great to hear from you. The selection here is incredible. There's beamers and bikes and check out that Morris Oxford on a D plate, D plate taking you back to 1966 vintage. Wow, that's impressive. So the Cortina Mark III guys are here with four models. They've got the Crayford Cortina GT and a Mark III pickup. Uh, amongst others, there's a couple of GTs there. Uh, look out for the uh, three Citroens. I don't know what you call three Citroens. Is that a herd? a gaggle or a group. Anyway, there's uh, some Hillman Imps, which is I need to do something on Hillman Imps. And uh, there's a couple of Escort vans, but um, look out for the Mark II van as well. And check out the Charger with the BF Goodrich tyres and a Mustang side by side. It's like they're staring each other out. Fantastic, what a display. Many thanks to all the exhibitors for bringing along your pride and joy to let everybody see it. Many thanks to you, and I know there's a lot of preparation goes in. Uh, thank you. This film is one of a few from the Stirling and District Classic Car Club. If you want to go to SLR TV and check out the playlist, you'll be able to find the others and uh, have a look through them and let me know how you get on. A lot of people ask me, uh, Stebo, where is your accent from? Well, I'm actually from Scotland and uh, originally born and bred in Dunfermline in Fife. Uh, Dunfermline formerly 
Right, this is a history lesson now, isn't it? Dunfermline was uh, the ancient capital of Scotland and King Robert the Bruce that you saw at the beginning of the film um, from the Battle of Bannockburn way back in the day he is buried in Dunfermline in the palace in Dunfermline. Right, back to the cars. Um, the pre-1967 Ford Owners Club are here, so look out for them. If beetles and bugs is your thing, well, there are plenty beetles and there's some beauties as well, as we say here in Scotland. The place is crawling with them, in fact. And check out, if you like big cats, there's a cougar there as well. And uh, there's plenty precious heavy metal. Look out for the Vauxhall Cresta as well. Right, how are we doing? Are you still with me? Fantastic. By the way, if you're enjoying what you're uh, watching, you can always tell me about it in the comments below. But um, if you would like to get the films as soon as they come out, hot off the presses, you can also subscribe to SLR TV. And uh, many thanks for watching and also thank you for when you subscribe. Many thanks. One car that you can look out for and that's the Midas, which is actually a kit car with mini running gear. Check that one out. And there's also the Pokemon uh, Nissan. That's uh, a lovely job actually, that one. And watch out for, well, a mini part in a caravan. Yes, you heard me. I know it sounds like absolute madness, but when you see it, it all makes sense. The Stirling and District Classic Car Club show first ran in 2004, growing in both popularity and size over the following 15 years. Unfortunately, like many other events, the show was not able to run in 2020 nor in 2021. However, they are stamping their authority here in May 2022. They're back and uh, many thanks to all club members um, for putting their pride and joy with us for the show. And congratulations to Jeff Marr, the chairman, and of course the rest of the team for putting the show together. Thank you. The club themselves, Stirling and District Classic Car Club, were formed in 2000 by local enthusiasts. There's no restriction on membership, and if you enjoy cars, why not go along irrespective of what you own, and the group hold regular meetings throughout the month, a couple of times a month at least, and they have some uh, regular speakers and other classic car show events, they'll go out and visit them as well. One of the good things about today's show is over the years the Stirling and District Classic Car Club have raised over £95,000 for local charities. The show exhibits are actually made up by a number of things. There are individual entries and there are lots of uh, car clubs and enthusiasts taking part. I'll give you an idea of who's here today. So thanks for joining us today. We're at Stirling, right in the heart of Scotland, just down the road from the Battle of Bannockburn and not too far away from the Wallace Monument. However, we're right in the centre of Bridge of Allen. I was actually amazed at the amount of military and commercial vehicles here today. Very impressed. The Jaguar enthusiasts from Edinburgh region have also uh, come along to support the show and uh, so have the Jaguar enthusiasts from Fife and Tayside, they pitched up as well. And also in attendance are the Jaguar Enthusiast Club from Glasgow. Great to see you. I also need to mention Jake McNabb from the Jowett Car Club and uh, the Mark III Owners Clubs here uh, 
We've actually got um, quite a few cars along today um, from 1971. There's two from 1972 and a couple of cars from 1975 as well. Check out the Morgan Sports Club, they're here. And uh, there's some motorbikes as well. You can uh, check them out, some bikes and trikes. All right, on with the show. The uh, Alfa Romeo's Owners Club are here as well. Check them out. And there's a club, the SDCCC. Well, who else but Stirling and District Classic Car Club. The Morris Minor Owners Club are here. And also the Morris Minor from Glasgow are here as well. Between them, they've got Morris of Thousands, Travellers, some uh, custom saloons, which is um, nice on the eye, together with some travellers. So check them out, there's loads of them at the show, which is a great to see. The bus that you see there is actually Martin Bell and the Hercules the Bear bus. So that settles that then. There's also um, Douglas Thomas from the Scott Land Rover Owners Club. MG, well, there's plenty of them, and many thanks to the Edinburgh MG Club, Tayside MG Owners, and Stirling MG Owners Club as well, for bringing their selection of midgets, MGBs, MGB GTs, and also their um, Austin A30, actually, from uh, Brian Murray. Thanks for bringing them along today. Perth and District Classic Wheels Group are also here today. Perth, well, just a few miles up the road, but uh, thank you for coming along. And the group have brought a collection of uh, Beatles, Spiders, and there's some Mazdas and a Triumph Dolmite as well, to name but a few. Angus Classic enthusiasts are here today. Well, they have a lot of VW. Their members actually have some modern day classics as well, featuring the Vauxhall Calibra. Uh, now, that was featured in German DTM racing, the Calibra. Not so well, there were a few in the UK. And also the um, Humber Scepter that they have amongst their ranks, and a modern day classic, the Ford Probe from 1997. And that's the mini moak that you can see there in the dark colour. You'll actually get a viewing of that leaving the show and uh, our film from the Stirling and District Classic Car Club. So check that out. That's one of the cars that's leaving the show. Now also featured today, the Triumph Sports 6 Club. I've mentioned them already, but check them out. They are here together with the Auto Scots who have brought along some uh, Porsches, a Morris Marina from 1978, as well as the Pontiac Firebird, and a modern day classic again, the BMW Mini Cooper. Thanks for getting on board. By the way, you're with Stebo on SLR TV, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support mentioned them already but worth mentioning again the pre-ford 67 owners club are here so if you like anglias escorts and also your uh, mustangs and uh, chevrolet camaros that's what they brought along today so check that out as well as a ford console and an anglia estate there you go that's the crayford cortina a convertible Cortina. Now the Scottish Kit Car Club are here today as well, so check them out, as well as the BMC Car Club, British Motor Company. Caledonian Mini Club are here as well, and uh, that's where you'll see the Mini Moak, by the way, so remember to check that out. The Capri Club Scotland are here as well, with a super selection of Mark 1s, Mark IIs, and uh, there are also some 3-litre cars there as well. The 3-litre gear and the 2-litre um, laser 
as well. So check them out, watch out for those. There you are, we've arrived in Citroen territory and also check out the Citroen H van here as well, it's a classic. There you go, there's some Hillman imps, but what do you want to see now? Do you fancy a bit uh, Ford action? Let's have a look at the Ford Escort van and also the Ford Anglia as well. So here's the Charger and the Mustang, but what I like about the Charger is they, they know about exhibiting. They've left the windows open so as we can uh, have a look and uh, see what's going on inside the cockpit, as they say. So a special mention to the Lotus Drivers Club. They've got a great selection of cars along. Um, Elise 1s, um, Elise 2s and Elise S3s together with some Elan Sprints and a Lotus XLSE. Ash Gill Classics are here as well together with Hamish Dickey from the Daimler and Lanchester Owners Club. Also the East of Scotland Mini Owners are here. Uh, many thanks to you for pitching up and uh, it's great to see so many here, uh, minis here today as well. Now, I mentioned earlier on a place called Fife, which is actually a county or a region, and that's where I'm from originally. Uh, they are here today with their uh, collection of motors. They've got a Cortina Mark 1, a Hellman Minx, and also a Rover P4, amongst others. So check them out and uh, see what's going on. Triumph Stags, well the Stag owners are here as well. Um, a fantastic selection of Triumph Stags for you to check out. So the Strathern Classic Car Club, I should give them a mention as well. Also here today are Tayside Car Club. Now, Tayside is well effectively Dundee and District and um, that's up the road a bit uh, beyond Perth if you're not local and you wanted to know but they have uh, Tony King and his Ford Transit Mark 1 camper van check out our film on that I should give a mention to James Hughes from Fife Volkswagen as well as Fourth Valley Tourers now I guess that that's going to be Falkirk, Grangemouth, Bowness and District. Um, apologies if I'm wrong by the way. Also Hamilton Classics, they've got a good selection of vehicles along today, dating from 1961 through to the 70s, the 80s, the 90s and modern day classic, the Glen Watson Jaguar XJ Sport from 2005. Incidentally, well, some of the displays, we like them that much, we had to visit them twice. So uh, we'll get a quick look at the uh, Ford Cortinas as well, once again, and just draw your attention to the Ford Cortina Mark III pickup. Yeah, check that one out anyway. I think it's great that some exhibitors get the bonnets open because that's what we want to see, what well, the plumbing inside. So many thanks to you, that's very good of you and uh, that's really what we're along here to see. So the West Coast Classic folks are here with their uh, Escort Mexico, Escort RS2000, uh, Morris Oxford to name but a few. Um, West Coast I would guess is going to be Ayrshire, maybe Larks, Weems Bay, I'm guessing that kind of thing anyway. The Stirling Imp Group are here. There are loads of imps. All we have to do is find them together with the uh, Mini Clan and uh, check out the, da um, the Davy McPhail, the Morris Mini um, van that's uh, here today from 1961. By the way, thanks for watching and uh, sticking with us. Many thanks to you. Bye. Um
The weather is not always as kind as this to us here in central Scotland, so if you're watching and you're non-local, you're uh, from maybe out with the UK, we've actually had exceptional weather today, so we've been quite lucky. There you go, second name check for Tony King. Within five minutes, the Ford Transit Mark 1 camper van from 1973. As I say, watch your film about that and I'll tell you about the name that they have for the Mark 1 Ford Transit camper van. You'll find that most of the vehicles here today have actually been driven to the show. There's not too many that have been put on the back of a trailer. So that, that's great to see and uh, it's fantastic when you see them on the road as well. Yeah, let's have a look at these again. These are amazing, the uh, Morris Thousands, Morris Miners. So also here we've got the Oban and District Classic Vehicle Club. Now that is actually quite a hike for uh, Oban down here to Stirling, but glad you could make it. Great to see you. The Triumph 2000 Register Club are here as well and very popular are Triumph 2000s, 2500s, 2.5 PIs, 2.5 TCs um, and there are a couple of 2.5 S estates as well so um, great that you could make it, glad that you managed along. Unusual Suspects USA are here with their uh, Mustang GTs and their uh, Dodge Rams and some S550s. From the west of Scotland VW Group, we've also got Gail Johnson. So glad you could manage along. And that was the uh, Wolseley Register and GCCC with their collection of cars. Wolseley 444s, Wolseley 1500s, and uh, to name but a few actually. Um, so glad that you're on board with us here today at the Bridge of Allen uh, beside Stirling in the heart of Scotland. You might see some of the cars leaving but as I say if you bear in mind that a lot of people have driven the cars here themselves. Uh, many people are not local so they've probably got a big drive ahead of them just to get home. So. Remember to watch our film Cars Leaving the Show. There's the rover making its way out. I think I'm going to count today as a success because Jeff Marr and his team who have organised the show really have done a super job. Um, I, no stone unturned, you might say, because there's first aiders um, available if needed, of course, and hopefully not. Um, there's fire extinguishers available at reception um, near the, the entrance gate, should you need them. Um, toilet facilities, of course, it's a long day if you're, you're here, as well as wheelchair access toilets and, of course, baby change um, set up is here as well. So I think they've thought of most things and, uh, as I say, it really has been a super day. By the way, if you're wondering about today's film, um, it's been speeded up. So if you are a whiz with a computer and you wanted to slow it down to real time, you can do so, but it'll take you four times as long to watch. It'll take you actually roughly an hour and 45 minutes. So um, you can do that if you like, but I've trimmed it down to 25 minutes for you and this section the film is generally uncut so you can see it as it happens. This has been a fantastic day out for all the family and as I say if you need wheelchair access it's very accessible here at Bridge of Allen in Stirling. If you do have a favourite here today and you want to tell me about it I'd like to hear about it, you can do so in the notes below and uh, leave us your comments. Now that mini part in front, or rather part in a caravan, here it is. You can also see that in our film What's to See 
at the show, but it's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. But when you see it, it all makes perfect sense. That really is one of the most amazing things that you'll ever see <laughs> at a car show. So I'm glad that you're still with us because uh, we're uh, heading towards the end of the film. But there's still a bit to go, don't worry. If you haven't given us a thumbs up till now, come on, you know you want to give us a thumbs up and uh, I'll say thank you in advance for that. Oh, seamless stable. Hello everybody. Hiya. Toot toot. Beep beep. Truly a great day out. You need to be there, so get your diary date in for the future. Meanwhile, I'm just getting ready for our next film, Cars Leaving the Show, here at the Stirling and District Classic Car Club Show. Hope you can join us then. From Stevo and myself, Gregory Bear, thanks for watching. Remember to give us the thumbs up and you can subscribe as well to get those films as soon as they come out. Toot toot, peep peep, see ya.